G'day, Adam VK 4 ghz Today we're going to take a look at pan and tilt heads for your microwave dish. What I'm using here, this is a, uh, a Miller fluid head. It actually came from uh, ABC Television. They were throwing it out a few years ago, so I quickly put my hand up and said, yes, I'll take it. These uh, are actually bought for the 1982 Commonwealth Games here in Brisbane, so they're over 30 years old. But for an application like this, they're absolutely perfect. So I've done a few little mods to this, and I was lucky enough to score a second one of these absolutely identical off eBay for $100 uh, from a seller in Sydney. So what happens here, what you need to do is uh, basically just drill out and re-tap this base plate so they'll screw directly onto a surveyor's tripod. And it's a real quick and easy thing to do. I just screw on, tighten it up. And uh, this particular model also has a bubble on it, so it's nice to know when the, um, the head is actually level so you can adjust the legs on your tripod accordingly. So I've already separated the uh, the two main parts of the head, it's pretty easy, there's only three bolts either side to do that. I've put it in the vise. Make sure you level the thing uh, in both planes using a spirit level before you drill. And what we're going to do is drill it out up to 14 millimetres, then we'll tap it with a 5 8 11 turns per inch uh, tap. So there you go, that was pretty easy. Just drill it out, tap it, and it just bolts straight onto the uh, surveyor's tripod. So what I've done here, I've just welded a metal tab onto the end of the, uh, the handle here, so it gives me a lot more leverage when I'm uh, locking the thing up. Okay, I've done everything I wanted to do. I've got the much bigger handle here at the end here just to, to nip it up, so the, uh, the tray locks down to it. I've got the, uh, the 5 8 tapped. Uh, hole here so it bolts directly onto the surveyor's tripod and another thing I've done just to um, just to improve the tilting uh, I've actually drilled two holes either side and tapped them with M3 and I've got two screws going through just to, to, to lock this in. One thing I found with the earlier uh, pan and tilt head that tended to slip because it was only like a, a, a press, press arrangement. So let's go over and put it on the tripod. Okay, we don't need these anymore. These are just uh, CDs, three of them. They can make a pretty, pretty quick and easy uh, bearing if you're stuck for something, but we don't need them anymore. So, with this thread, this is a real simple matter of it bolting to the tripod. Now, this tripod came from Bunnings. They're uh, used for laser leveling or surveying applications. They're $75. They've got a flathead, so these tripods come in two variants. A flathead, which is what you want, or well, they're, they're a lot more easy to work with, and uh, tripods with a domed head. There you go, that's up nice and tight. You can buy these tripods off eBay. I think they're around the, the $58 mark, then they want uh, 20 something bucks for freight, so it's quicker and easier just to go to your local bunning store. And uh, of course, if you've got something wrong with it, you can just take it back. It can be a little bit hard with uh, some of these eBayers. So there we go. That's um, that's a Miller Fluid Head, X uh, television camera use. You'll find these on uh, places like eBay. It uh, cost me a hundred bucks and uh, well worth it.